Okay, time for another aquaponics update. As you can see, we got the beds filled and the stuff planted. I'll go over everything now, what's going on. Uh, we did get everything filled, and we, I was talking about the clay little beads. That's these right here, uh, which is rolled clay, the clay material. Uh, you can see it's dry on top, but if you go down about an inch, you know, it's wet right there, you know. That's how the bed raises and fills. Uh, these are timed. They're all about the same. They all take, all three of them take about 15 minutes, uh, 13 to 15 minutes to fill all of them, and about two and a half to empty. So that's a ratio. And I did get some PVC from a friend, some six inch PVC, you know, for my shroud right here. That one I didn't add, I have it ready, it's made, but with the corn in that one is so big, I have to move so much plants out. When I harvest the corn in a couple months, I'll, I'll do it then, because the bed will pretty much be empty. Uh, and while I'm at it, this one here, um, I added the air brake on here. Uh, as you can see, this one doesn't have it, it's just the bell, you know. Uh, this one, it wasn't breaking cleanly as I liked. Uh, so what I did is, if you see at the bottom there, it's just a tube going in and it's sealed right there. And I put it down and I have it about, what's that, about an inch above the break. And what that does, it's giving me a lot cleaner break. Because what's happening is, when the water's draining, it's going down like this. You know, it got below here, was sucking air in. Well, and I think the problem is my shroud down there has a lot of holes in it, but it might need some more. So when this bed is, next time it's empty, I'll add some more here, but this is working fine. So what I did is I added this, and what that does is when the water gets below this, air is sucked in up through here to, to stop the vacuum. So doing that stopped the vacuum a lot, a lot better. But as you can tell, the corn over there is, these, this corn here is just a week and a half from seed so it's going crazy and you can see right there the one bed's ready to go there it goes and I got some those two plants are yellow squash and I got a tomato there these three are right there 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 in the middle uh, these right here those are yellow squash and these are zucchinis uh, that's an eggplant uh, basil, basil, uh, and on this one, basil. Uh, the basils are doing okay, but they're not great because down in Texas here, they're getting a little bit too much sun right now. So uh, it's probably a little too much sun for this basil. They're in sun most of the day. Uh, that one, that one. That one, that one, and that one are all spaghetti squash. Uh, cucumber, cucumber, Roma tomato. These three over here are spaghetti squash, but we're going to plant them outside real quick. Uh, there's just too many for this bed right here. So that's what we got planted so far. Uh, a couple going on here. What's going on is uh, right here, well, that's just my chart hanging. Uh, I don't think there's really anything new on the inside, no. Uh, one thing about the inside I can mention is I did get an oxygen meter and with my Venturi system there, my Venturi system there, my oxygen level is at about 7.4. Now I don't have any fish yet, so that might change a little bit. But between the water splashing there and my two Venturis, I'm getting a lot of oxygen in here, a lot more than I thought. So I do have an air pump that I'll probably turn on, especially when the fish are young and maybe during the summertime because less oxygen goes in the water during the summer during warmer temperatures but during the winter I might be able to turn it off uh, here I added a couple handles uh, here uh, I got the drains on as you can see drains on there uh, one thing I'm also finding here is I don't know if it's kind of hard to see down in there but when the water comes in there and down what I'm finding out is it is sucking a lot of water, air in with the water. And when it's coming back, it's adding a lot of air in the water, in the oxygen water, which is helping my levels out also. 
So that's pretty cool because if I put my hand on top here, I can see the difference in the bubbles on the other end coming out. So, uh, so that's what that is. Uh, back here, it's all about the same. Here's where my air pump's going to go. And I'm going to have a couple air stones in there. And I'll have one in this tank right here, too, to help out here. And when I have the median here, this comes my biofilter. That'll come out quite a bit, too. I, I made a little thing here to walk over so you don't break that. Uh, the string, in case you're wondering, I got here, that's just for the cucumbers to crawl up right there. I haven't got the power in here yet connected. A friend of mine who's going to help me do the final connection has been on vacation. So he'll need to catch up with work for a couple weeks and he'll be in here. But here's where I told you I'm going to have my batteries in the inverter right here and, and, a, and a smart charger. So everything will run off the batteries off the inverter. So if the power goes out, I'll have hours and hours and hours of power so I don't have to worry about it here. So the tank is doing good. The temperature of the tank goes between 75 and 83 all the time, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I am going to get some radiant barrier to wrap around the outside, uh, and I think that will help a few degrees also. So that's kind of what's going on in updated the aquaponic system right there. Uh, everything's chugging along, growing good. It, it's just, just working like it's supposed to. Um, I'll try to do some more. Uh, the only thing I'm going to add is another blue barrel. I'm going to add right here up on uh, some concrete like that with a spigot at the bottom. But the, that sole purpose is where I can keep water in it. And I'll have a hose like this one, but I'll have a hose permanently connected to that. Because I get the water from a municipal that has chlorine in it. And when I get fish, I don't want to throw that directly in. So I'll keep water in this tank all the time. And anytime I need water to fill my system up, the hose will be here attached to it. And I'll just put it on hook on top. And I'll just put a hose over to the sump, open the valve up to add some water. And then every time I take some water out, I'll just fill the barrel up. And then as it sits a few days, that chlorine and stuff will naturally come out of it or something. And if I need to, I can put an air stone in there to speed it up. Because just a half a day a day with the air stone in there and it's gone. You know, sitting in there a couple days, it'll probably be okay. Uh, another thing I found, to clean the bottom of the tanks, uh, I don't know if you can see it now. You can see there's just a little bit just from the sediment still from before down there. If you get it up in solution, it kind of takes care of itself. I found this broom. Uh, it's actually a really nice one. It's hard to find short brooms, short, you know, side to side, you know. But this one is actually silicone. So that's working great. So I found it on Amazon. So if you're looking for a broom to clean the bottom of your tanks and sweep in the bottom of this off to get the stuff in suspension to get pulled out, I just got that on Amazon. And if you search for a silicone push broom, uh, you'll have it right there. And that's it. So... So that's the update, and right over here is where the next beds will go. So the next addition to this system here. So that's what's going on. And we're toying with the idea of adding a couple more fish tanks and getting rid of some grow beds down there and making some floating rafts too. So we're still toying with the idea back and forth. If we do that, we'll get some grow lights up there and everything like that. So still trying to figure out kind of what we, how we want to position it in here. So that's the aquaponics update. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if, you, uh, uh, if you're in the North Texas area, leave me a comment. If you want to come out and see it, let me know. Uh, I sh the, taking the levels, yesterday was the first day I had any measurable amount of nitrates, which is good. So, which means about a week or two, I should be cycled. So in a week or two, I should be getting fish. And after I get fish, I'll do another video so you can see the fish. So that's it. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll leave you here just looking at the system in the beds here. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them below. Thanks for watching, guys.